Alright, this is Nuclear Throne. I know way more about this game than I should because I've had to record it a million times because different things keep failing me. But, all that being said, I've only played it about an hour. So there's still a lot to know, a lot that I do not know. But, what I do know is that Nuclear Throne is a game like... Sort of like Binding of Isaac, sort of, but not enough to ever consider it a clone. It is a top-down roguelike. If you die, you have to start over. You have all your characters down here, which all of them are locked, unlocked now. They don't start unlocked. All the exclamation points weren't unlocked. I'm not going to show you them all unless you really want to see them. You can pause really quick. But I'm just going to go through, I, I figure, an episode or two per character to see which one I like best. As you can see, the exclamation points are the ones I've played, so I've played Mr. Triangle Guy and Fish, but you didn't see any of that. So here we go. Oh man, I hope this works. I hope I don't have to re redo this for the 50th time. Anyway, the game's pretty simple at its core. You can shoot and you can use your second power, in this case it is rolling. You also get two guns that you can switch out. I happen to like the gun choice so far, but I do not think that I have all of them, or I've seen all of them yet. But this is just your handgun that you start out with. Oops, and the shotgun. A little bit more powerful. Acts a little bit more of a punch. By the way, I, I heard, the reason I got this game is because someone mentioned it to me. I had never heard of it. It's been in, in early access on Steam for over six months, and I didn't know about it. And I really like these types of games. And I just took a damage, one damage from running into that. By the way, that's how you get a level. But anyway, like I was saying, it's been in six months worth of early access, so it's probably come a long way. I don't really know. Because I didn't, I don't know about it. But from the reviews I've read, they say that the devs are pretty, pretty motivated, and, and the content, the patches come. When the patches come, they have a lot of content, so that's good. It's something that not all early access do. Early access titles do. Sometimes you have to wait a long time. That's the end of level one. Hooray! I'm a lot happier about this game than it sounds. I'm just, I'm just a bit frustrated from having to redo this. Okay, so this is how you level up every, every time this the bar fills up. You get to pick one of these perks. So I'm gonna pick now. Kills lower your reload time. Higher rate of fire. So if you get slower, maybe that's a new one for me actually. And I guess that is my character Fish. Of course, just fly and hit harder. That's always fun novelty things that it's not so novel actually but it's pretty interesting as opposed to you get more life enemies touching you take damage I don't like things that encourage you to get hit that doesn't make much sense to me alright I think I'll, I'll go with the fun one corpses fly and hit harder and as you can see the graphic style is pretty pixely which is I think a good a good thing in these types of games not a bad thing um, at, at the very least, but it kind of reminds me of Metal Slug, if you ever remember that game. I think everyone that remembers that game has a story to go along with it. I, I know that I used to play it all the time when I went to the skating rink, back when those were a thing, and it was my favorite game. But the only reason I say that is because of the art style. I know that it's top-down, and, and uh, Metal Slug was not. I think it was on the Neo Geo, and I don't think that was... It was also on arcade systems. They might, that might have been. See, I don't know much about the Neo Geo. I just know that's what it was. Yeah, it looks like it's from that era. All right, we have an assault rifle. Um, I don't know if I want to trade that over my 173 bullets. Running out of ammo is a big deal. If you run out of ammo, there's no mechanic that that I've found anyway that allows you to keep going unless you can go to a chest. And those bullets, you see, or I guess it's vomit, I don't really know. They don't disappear. 
Until I hit something, obviously. Hit you, hit the wall. I don't say it's, I only say it's like Binding of Isaac because it's it's top down in a way. I mean, it might as well be. And they're quick levels. Uh, you die. Most roguelike equals you die. You have to start over at the beginning. That type of thing. Other than that, it's really not much like it. Uh, other than the directional aiming. I love that in this game. Um, I know that I wish our darker purpose, it's another roguelite. Almost a roguelike. And it has... Uh, you have to use arrows and WASD at the same time. I don't really enjoy that at quite as much. The, the game's great. It's hard for me not... To, it's hard for me to dislike a roguelike or a roguelite, because they're just so much fun to me. That and Tower Defense, but Tower Defense is boring to watch on YouTube and, and Twitch and things like that, so that's why I don't play it. But they're still fun. I eat up so much of my time when I'm not actually doing anything. Alright, we're going for another mutation. Higher rate of fire. Such HP gets lower. We already have that one. Or we don't, but we've seen it. Shells bounce further. We don't have a gun with shells right now. Kills lower your reload time. I like that one. Laser pistol. I might come back for that one. So they say this is a difficult game. It really ramps up. I, I haven't gotten very far. I've gotten maybe to the third zone that doesn't look like desert. So you'll see what they look like in this episode or the next. Or probably this one. It doesn't take very long as long as you don't die over and over. The fact that I missed all those was just a complete coincidence. I'm really not that good. It's not at the beginning. There are uh, YouTubers out there, ones I actually watch, and I, I like watching that play, for instance, Binding of, Binding of Isaac, and they know all the items, what they do, the best ones to take, the ones you should never take, unless you have a certain other item. I just, I don't know. I, that'd take me forever. I'd like to be able to, but... I should stop talking about other games. One more thing. Find the Rise of Rebirth. Can't wait. Alright. Back to this game. Nuclear Throne. The reason it's called Nuclear Throne is because you're essentially fighting all these guys, killing everything, so you can be the most powerful. You can be the king of the wasteland. There's some pretty interesting wastelandic beings. Scorpions are three heads. I think everything has to do with being mutated. And there are mummies with guns and... It's like a bandit mummy? That sounds about right, bandit mummy. And as you can see up here in the left, there are five different types of ammo. And I would assume that there are also five different types of ammo that the other guys can shoot. I might be wrong about that. It would make sense. Now here's the second area. I'm saying it like I'm a pro, but I'm, I haven't I really haven't played it much. We have your typical things you would find in sewer levels in games, which are rats and alligators. Alligators with guns, but nonetheless, alligators. And you can die just like that. I first time I died, it wasn't that quick. I'm, I've only been playing nine minutes and I'm dead. And you might you might think I should be using my roll ability, but it limits your movement. You wouldn't think a roll would, but you can only roll in one direction. Dude, three damage to me in one hit. I'm already almost dead. Not a good start. But, I believe enemies can hit each other. So you can use that to your advantage if you're stuck, but I wouldn't suggest it. It's too unreliable in most cases unless the enemy's really slow. Alright, so here we have our first melee weapon. I have actually never got the sledgehammer. Uh, different melee weapons have different range, I believe. And I'm not normally a melee person. 
I played a little League of Legends, the melee people, I, I it, it would just be as if I just started playing. But in this game, it's a bit different. It's gratifying to hit someone in the head, someone in the head with a sledgehammer, and it's effective as long as you don't get hit by explosives and the actual um, projectiles and bullets and whatnot. And it off, off, like every melee weapon, it has unlimited ammo, because, you know, it doesn't have ammo. But the bad part is, if it does, if it is someone that, that shoots something, you open yourself up. Like I might be doing, but it's just so fun. Ah, oh, we have a disc gun. I, I, I'll use that and come back for it. Disc gun, you can easily kill yourself. Man. Oh, okay, there we go. 30 bullets. I'm leaving the disc gun behind because you really can't kill yourself. Alright, we got another one. Shields bounce further. Still don't have a shotgun. Homing bolts don't have a bow. Energy. Wow! There are melee upgrades too, but I'm not gonna have them. I don't know if it's planned. I, ha I really haven't looked at the form or anything to see what's planned for this game since it is in early access. But according to the options menu, which by the way has a lot of stuff that literally says doesn't work beside it. For instance, co-op. Um, I, I assume co-op's going to be added, and this looks like a great game for co-op, especially with friendly fire. It'll be like a cheap magic, a cheap looking. Not oh yeah. One of the best parts of the game that I've found so far, which isn't much, is that you can reflect bullets by, sh by hitting them with melee. That's just... that's just great! Oh, God! That <laughs> first playthrough was so much better than this. But it's such a great game. I don't mind. I don't mind yet. Maybe I'll mind after... 100 kills, 100 deaths. This is not an auto gun, so you have to click it every time. Another thing to know is you can't go slowly, because if you kill a monster and wait too long, which isn't very long, your experience, the little green things, will disappear pretty quickly, as well as the other items that you have to That was pretty effortless, what do you think? Got a lot of bullets, too. A few I haven't seen before. Water boost. Specifically for fish. Hmm, that throws in some interesting dynamics. If you can only get certain perks with characters. Thrown butt, that's great. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to um, recycle You know, I'm gonna assume that's for the roll. And if that's the case, yeah! Okay, I spoke too soon about it being terrible. I If you can upgrade them, that changes everything. And you can actually move all... Okay, take back everything I said. Or maybe I didn't even say it this time. If I mentioned limiting movements this playthrough, I... I was wrong. I spoke too soon. Aw, oh, grenade launcher is so powerful and so deadly. It is the only weapon I've come across so far that can actually take apart the earth. Take apart the walls. And I have to say, this game is the perfect type of game to have it's so you could break and, you know, maybe there's there would be a shop there or a, a power-up over there where you could only get to if you had an explosive weapon. That would be great. Oh, how lucky am I? 16 explosives. 8 more, wow. Anything that looks like it explodes without help probably does. First time I died was I ran right up to a car, 
and shot it saying, Will this explode? I wonder. And it just one shot me. Oh, so I was done. That's a laser gun over there. Oh well. I do think so far that the uh, difficulty ramp up is is nice. I haven't. 